budding ballerina Elle Lewis executes a pique arabesque with elegance and grace. The 11 year old from Gothtown first slipped into ballet shoes when she was just four. I've been working on a tour jeté, which is a kick and then in the air you meet into a um, sutenu and then switch legs. It's really pretty, but it's kind of hard. Behind the curtain, Elle struggles with body image and self-worth. She reflects harshly on the girl she sees in the mirror. It's um, really hard for me to picture myself as someone that I like. Her pain peaked last fall when her parents discovered she was self-harming. We weren't aware until it literally was plain as day, you know, on her face. Elle had been suffering silently, her world spinning out of control. I mostly keep to myself uh, because I really don't have anyone to talk about. I have so many people, I just feel that if I tell them, that's going to like put the pressure on them. So I just keep it to myself. She illustrates her agony in a drawing she titled, Words Hurt. I decided to draw myself and words that I've heard over fifth grade. Elle entered her picture in the statewide Magnify Voices Expressive Arts Contest. The New Hampshire Children's System of Care, or CSOC, asked 5th through 12th graders to share their struggles with mental health in the form of a drawing, essay, poem, or short video, trying to reach the one in six children who experience mental illness each year. Dr. Allison Roy, a clinical psychologist and contest judge, says the artwork shows kids are begging to be seen and heard. We underestimate them and what they are able to communicate to us, what they're able to talk about, what they're able to show us. Brave voices, silence breakers, growing to a roar, 48 entries, a chorus erasing the stigma of mental illness. We're celebrating it, we're not hiding it, we're not ashamed of it, we're not even trying to fix it or treat it. We're actually celebrating the communication about it, which I think is really powerful. 17-year-old Maddie Bergen penned a poignant essay comparing her anxiety and an obsessive compulsive disorder to a hurricane. When I say I am a natural disaster, people reassure me. I'm she calm. opened up I'm about dermatillomania, a skin-picking disorder that leaves scars. I'm a junior in high school. The locker room stares when I pull off my shirt and I promised myself I would not go to prom with these bloody marks. She surprised herself when the words moved from thoughts to paper. That one I actually had not intended to really share with anyone. She's since found coping mechanisms like fidgeting with rings instead of her skin and drawing on her arms and legs. Going public about her battles is her way of fighting the stigma. So it definitely has shame attached to it, which is kind of why talking about it seems so important to kind of unleash that shame. Well, not only did Maddie go to prom, she wore a backless dress. And I ended up laughing a lot more than I thought I would, which was a wonderful surprise. The more we talk about our story and what we've been through and what we've experienced, it actually helps our brain to reorganize and, and feel calmer and feel safer. Medical advice that's certainly helping Erin Murphy. The Wyndham High School junior has shared her story over and over after debuting her short video at Magnify Voices 2021. Dear younger me, I know there was a point in time when staying wasn't a realistic thought and there were nights that felt like they could have been your last. Dear younger me sheds light on Erin's bout with severe depression and anxiety. She hit rock bottom in middle school. I'd go to school all day and be happy and smiley, and then I'd go home and just shut my door and go to bed at 3 o'clock because I was just exhausted from this day of pretending. When Erin showed up to class in pajamas, her secret began unraveling, and she finally got the help she needed. Now, four years later, with continued therapy and evolving coping skills, Erin's gone from survivor to thriver. 
Good morning, Wyndham High School. We have a pep rally today. Aaron's video and all of the artwork give adults a visual for an invisible illness. Seeing that on paper, it was definitely sh surprising and shocking, yeah. Elle Lewis's mom knew her daughter was suffering, but a picture is worth a thousand words. The black splatter paint is like, for me, hiding my face because I don't want to look at myself anymore. Opening up has helped lift some of Elle's burden. She's more comfortable making eye contact with the girl in the mirror. It's okay to not be okay, but it's never okay to like suffer in silence.